Hey everybody, this is Bob with Cell Tech Productions. I'm working on a little mix here that I created using just Apple Loops. Just a quick refresher. I've done some videos on uh, Apple Loops, but you open the Loop Browser and you'll see green and blue uh, loops. The green is MIDI files, the blue is audio files. You can just click on it to preview it. Uh, same with the blue one. If you don't see, like you can see, I've got a ton of them here. They're in alphabetical order and it's like it's crazy. Um, if you go over here to Sound Library and open uh, Sound Library Manager, if this is not grayed out, then you have some that are not installed, right? So you can select all your uninstall and then install them. But uh, that's not the case with mine. But anyway, that's how you can get more if you don't have them. You just simply drag and drop them in here and you're good to go. One thing um, that you'll want to take note of here, a lot of these have a key. That's just the key um, that it was recorded in or the key that it's in. Uh, but you don't have to worry about that. As long as you go up here and open this little disclosure triangle, you'll see the key here is in the key of C. So that's my song. And... You can change the key here. You can make it major or minor. And then when you drag and drop in here, it transposes the loop for you automatically. So I'm just going to run through these and give you a little idea on Apple loops. Uh, one note here, I did record an acoustic guitar here. So this is the only audio track that I actually recorded. <laughs> So here's the drums and bass. Little atmosphere here to start the uh, to start the song. And there's that guitar again. A couple of little uh, synth parts here. Here's a sax part. That's a sax harmony. Here's a little transition here. Here's a little rap part right here. Watch him chop it up and make you feel so rude. And watch him make him break it down, the music will just ooh. People wanna step into the party and job. People in the back, for the people in the front, for the people on the side, for the people on the front, for the show them how we do it. And show them how we do it. So 
Apple Loops are a great way for you to get started with, you know, playing around with production a little bit. You can always add your vocals later and, and it's easy to, you know, drag and drop and make, a, make some adjustments. So let me just play it for you in its entirety and enjoy. Yeah. 